while the protagonist was enjoying a tranquil day at home, a call from a friend who wished to invite him to a gathering interrupted his peace. The young man promptly declined, falsely claiming that he was still at work, much to his friend's dismay. However, Kim Min-jun was determined not to disrupt his tranquility for anyone's sake. Thus, he suggested that it would be better to meet another time. As soon as the conversation ended, he resumed watching television, too exhausted from the overwork at the office to truly relax. Despite a grueling day, the weary worker couldn't afford to rest, as his phone kept buzzing with notifications. Initially, he intended to ignore them, unwilling to tackle work issues during his downtime, but soon he found himself responding to the incessant messages. The next morning, upon arriving at work, Kim's presence surprised his colleagues since he was required to work at the unfamiliar main office for the month. Outwardly, the protagonist smiled and behaved cordially, but inwardly, he seethed with resentment towards his colleagues and the organization. No sooner had he begun his duties than a senior colleague distracted him by requesting assistance with his workload. Although Minjun stated that he was busy, he was compelled to take on the tasks, which only fueled his irritation. Nonetheless, he felt obligated to help to avoid conflicts before his upcoming transfer to another position. Unexpectedly, he was informed of a training session scheduled for that day. The lack of prior notification enraged him, as it forced him to reschedule his own meetings. The event was of no benefit to him as a temporary staff member at the main office, but he was still required to attend. During his lunch break, he pondered why he felt so drained lately. Despite changing companies, he felt dreadful, almost convinced that he would never escape this state. Later, returning from the break, Min Jun overheard a conversation about life abroad between the department head and someone else, which piqued his interest as he too had long harbored dreams of leaving the country. Upon entering the office, his boss immediately called out to him, kindly introducing him to a new designer on the team. The man explained that since both young men were department assistants, they would need to get along. Kim listened attentively to everything he was told about the blonde, but his thoughts were preoccupied with a strange premonition, especially since the new employee's back and appearance reminded him strikingly of someone. When the young man learned the colleague's name, Choi Jinwen, and saw his face, he immediately recognized the person before him. While Min Jun was stunned by such an unexpected reunion with his first crush, his boss remarked that the two might know each other from their studies, even though Kim had attended a different faculty but was familiar with the blonde. Observing the reactions of both employees, the leader surmised he was right and began to speculate about it. Meanwhile, Jin Huan falsely claimed that they were hardly acquainted and had only seen each other a few times at university. At that moment, Assistant Kim scrutinized the familiar features of the man opposite him, unchanged even after a decade since their university graduation. Upon learning that the two young men barely knew each other, the department head regarded this information with suspicion. Even the protagonist understood how peculiar it sounded and hastened to lend more credibility to his new colleague's falsehood by adding that they had shared several lectures on a particular subject. The young man slightly adjusted the other's statement to make it sound more plausible. However, as soon as he noticed the blonde's reaction, he felt uncomfortable. Evidently, the brunette did not want rumors about him and Jin Huan to spread, so he pretended everything was fine and extended his hand for a fresh introduction. By putting on a polite demeanor, Assistant Kim could only hope for a reciprocal response and play along in this awkward situation before their boss. Nonetheless, before agreeing to this, the man seemed to ponder something privately. Eventually, they both pretended to be eager to work together. To an outsider, it might appear that only the new employee was genuinely pleased about the encounter, while the brunette was simply embarrassed by the situation. After concluding the so-called introduction, the protagonist withdrew his hand from his former lover, mentally admitting that both his colleagues gathered in the office had no respect for him. Meanwhile, the boss was already suggesting a joint corporate event for both departments to foster team bonding. While Jin Wen thought this was great news, Min Jun was infuriated by the mere thought of it.
However, as soon as he showed his emotions to the man across from him, the latter inexplicably began to chuckle quietly, which greatly angered the brunette and made him despise his current job even more. Reflecting on his feelings, Assistant Kim suddenly realized that what infuriated and annoyed him the most was not the current situation, but the blonde's beauty, which perfectly matched his tastes, unchanged even after ten years apart. Contemplating this, the young man suddenly recalled long-forgotten moments from the past and the romantic feelings that resurfaced the moment the man appeared nearby. In the past, when the protagonist was a freshman, naively dreaming of love, he accidentally met the object of his first real affection on a bus. It was a blooming spring, and the brunette was traveling to university classes, pondering how his life was supposed to change dramatically after turning 20, as his close ones had previously insisted. Although Minjun believed them, in reality, things turned out quite differently, and his student days proved to be rather dull. His life as a freshman was not much different from his school days, but the young man wanted to believe that he could experience his first love and find a relationship. Unlike many of his peers who were interested in close contacts with others, he yearned to love truly, as often depicted in movies. As the protagonist contemplated this, he heard other bus passengers discussing their plans too loudly. Although their behavior irritated him, as soon as Minjun caught sight of one of them, he fell in love at first sight. The young man was struck by the beauty of the blonde, who appeared quite bewildered by the inconvenience his noisy behavior caused to those around him. Nonetheless, the brunette's anger vanished immediately, and he began to feel his well-being abruptly shift from stuffiness to chill and vice versa. The protagonist tried to blame the spring weather, but it was clear that it was the romantic feelings that had suddenly overtaken him. Realizing this, Minjun became deeply embarrassed. He inadvertently began to dream of speaking with the object of his affection again, even if only by chance. Soon thereafter, during a lecture, the protagonist admitted to himself that he had enrolled in it only because it fit conveniently into his schedule, as other students had advised him to select his classes. Now, seated in the auditorium, he realized that the course was utterly useless to him, yet it would be easy to pass. Unexpectedly, the object of his affection chose to sit next to him, despite many empty seats around, opting to be in the young man's company. Initially, the protagonist did not even notice who had taken the seat next to him, but a soft chuckle made him instantly recognize the man. Naturally, Minjun was both embarrassed and delighted by this turn of events, having previously only dreamt of speaking with the object of his first crush. Although he had once captured the desired feelings he wished to experience during his student days, he was well aware that the chances of reciprocation were slim. The blonde not only possessed a stunning appearance, but was also popular and studied in a different faculty. Therefore, the protagonist decided that they could never become even slightly closer to each other. However, now that he had encountered him for the second time, he began to believe in fate. Moreover, as he reflected, Minjun suddenly realized that his beloved seemed equally interested in communicating with him, as he had chosen a seat next to him in the lecture. Soon, the lecture on the seemingly unnecessary subject ended. The brunette was unable to gather his thoughts as it was time to part ways with the blonde's company once again. Before leaving, he observed Jinwen while simultaneously pondering the slim chances of being romantically involved with him due to the unknown orientation of the latter and his own less than striking appearance. While not unattractive, as he was often called cute and likened to a cat an analogy not quite fitting for a handsome person, there had been instances where he was shunned for his so-called unsuitable appearance type. Such a seemingly insignificant feature of the brunette should not have affected his self-esteem, but it did, and he remembered those situations with resentment. As Minjun agonized over such trivialities, he suddenly realized that his problem was not really about this at all. He did not even dare try to initiate a conversation with the object of his affection, convinced beforehand that any attempt would end in failure, so he did not want to even try. Unexpectedly, a conversation spontaneously began between the two young men during which the blonde even laughed, winning the boy's feelings definitively. 
Moments later, the man explained that he was amused by Min Jun's handling of his backpack as he had acted similarly on the bus while he was nervous. This revelation clearly indicated to the protagonist that Jin Huan remembered their first meeting. He called Min Jun cute, but from his lips, it sounded more like a compliment than an insult or reproach. During their subsequent conversation, it was revealed that the two young men had actually met even before the bus incident, though Min Jun had not noticed his interlocutor then. In fact, their first encounter had taken place shortly before at a club for people of non-traditional orientations. Upon learning this, the brunette felt embarrassed. While the protagonist was uncomfortable confessing his personal preferences, the man spoke confidently about his own. He detailed how the boy had behaved that evening. Due to his shy nature and embarrassment, Min Jun could not relax at the event and merely kept turning around and watching others. At the end of such a candid conversation, the two young men finally got to know each other and exchanged numbers. Surprisingly, Jin Won was the initiator, making the protagonist feel a bit happier. It seemed to him that the chances of receiving mutual affection from the man were indeed higher, thus giving him an opportunity to be loved. These actions by the blonde at that moment greatly impressed Min Jun, giving him not only hope for more but also confidence in his own feelings. After ending the dialogue with the object of his first love, the brunette realized that he was overly intrigued by Jin Won. Unexpectedly, the department head distracted the protagonist from his reflections about the past. The man disliked that the boy was ignoring phone calls, thereby disturbing the others. Sincerely apologizing, Assistant Kim stepped out of the office to talk. Even during the conversation with the co-worker, he mentally blamed himself for being overly engrossed in his first infatuation, which was a mistake for him. Nevertheless, the protagonist acknowledged that despite ten years since their separation, he continued to think of the blonde from time to time. Understandably, meeting him now made him very nervous. Not dwelling on this for long, Min Jun realized that his already tiresome office life had become even more complicated due to the presence of someone from his past. Meanwhile, Jin Hwen, who was clearly interested in the young man, suddenly decided to message him in the work chat. The following morning, the department head noticed that the protagonist appeared significantly more groomed and attractive than usual, clearly having dressed with care. This observation prompted him to inquire whether the young man had entered into a relationship. Although this was not the case, the boss was not far from the truth. Assistant Kim became quite anxious upon hearing his colleague's speculation, but confidently stated that he was not involved with anyone. Min Jun disliked being called cute, as he was convinced that the term did not suit him, yet he had heard it directed at him all his life. Additionally, the protagonist was displeased with how the older generation of office employees treated him as they showed no respect, treating him as though he were a child. Generally, such thoughts troubled him, but in recent days, his primary concern had become his incessant reflections on the object of his first love. Assistant Kim was nervous about the blonde's presence in the office, which had even motivated him to dress up that day. Nevertheless, the young man was convinced that a relationship between him and the man was simply not possible after what had occurred in the past, and therefore it was futile to try. Initially, he worried that Jin Huan might tell their colleagues about their past, but this did not happen. Surprisingly, the brunette did not rejoice at this fact. For some unknown reason, he continued to ponder over the object of his first affection. In the past, the blonde was known as the Sun King, for he was beautiful in every detail, from his stunning appearance to his friendly demeanor. The protagonist understood that this nickname suited the man perfectly, as he was always surrounded by a large group of people happy to spend time with him. Like many others, Min Jun was enchanted by the blonde from their first meeting and wanted to be near him all the time. Gradually, as he learned more about the bright traits of his character, Assistant Kim found himself even more captivated, although partly frightened by his own desires. He knew that many exceedingly beautiful people behaved arrogantly and were cruel to others. Fortunately, Jin Won was not like that. He did not get close to people for ulterior motives, but did so genuinely and selectively. The protagonist immediately noticed that there was a distance between the man and his friends. 
As he got to know the blonde a bit better, he discovered his creative nature, which underpinned his behavior and emotional state. One day, passing by the university, the brunette overheard a conversation between two students about the object of his first love. Surprisingly, they spoke negatively about him, discussing unpleasant things. Minjun became very angry at what was happening, knowing that such people would never express all their thoughts directly to the person. Soon, the blonde himself intervened, having heard everything. He conducted himself with dignity and responded to the vile individuals with a smile on his face. As he acted so nobly, the students tried to draw his attention to converse further. Of course, they were unsuccessful. Although the man did not use harsh words, his kindness was so striking that people unconsciously changed their opinion about him. The protagonist, observing from the sidelines, already understood then that university life revolved around Jinwen. Not only he but most other people were interested only in him. Now, working in the office, Assistant Kim contemplated the past with a barely noticeable sadness. He understood that it was the blonde's destiny to be flawless. The next moment, when the brunette wanted to refocus on his work, he noticed that the person from the past had sent him a private message in the work messenger. According to the text, he wanted to clarify some information with Minjun. Naturally, such news managed to surprise the young man. Previously, on a sweltering day, the protagonist awaited Jinhuan at the designated spot. He was exceedingly nervous about meeting the blonde alone for the first time. When the man arrived, it was clear he had been in a hurry yet was still late. Ashamed of his tardiness, the brunette tried to reassure him that he had just arrived himself. Unfortunately, Minjun's lie was betrayed by his reddened face, a result of waiting too long in the sun. The object of his first affection's attentiveness greatly embarrassed the protagonist, as he hadn't expected such concern from his beloved. Soon after, the two young men ventured to a nearby noodle shop for some refreshing dishes, a place Jin Wen assured was delicious. Reflecting on that day, the young man recalled how the man often touched him inadvertently. Over time, these actions intensified his feelings. Following the encounter between the two university students, life for one remained unchanged, while for the other, it changed profoundly. Minjun realized that his first crush had significantly impacted him, as every word or action from Jinhuan elicited intense emotions. Yet, the blonde did not behave differently from other acquaintances. He, like everyone else, called him cute, teased playfully, and spent time casually. For this reason, from the beginning, the brunette tried not to foster his romantic feelings with false hopes about the man. One day, a phone call from the object of his first affection, proposing an immediate meeting, abruptly woke Minjun. Disturbed by the sudden invitation, the protagonist could not refuse, but upon arriving at the appointed place, he noticed the blonde was not alone, but in a large group. Nevertheless, the young man felt compelled to stay, spending the evening silently among strangers, enduring for Jinhun's sake. At that moment, the man seemed about to offer him something significant, but abruptly stopped mid-sentence and apologized, leaving nothing explained. This situation forced the young man to reconsider, as he had been certain he was the only one infatuated with the blonde. After the incident, he doubted this. Thus, on the day the two young men went out for noodles together, the brunette struggled to respond to the casual jokes from the object of his affection. Over time, not only did Minjun's feelings grow stronger, but so did his doubts about the impossibility of reciprocation. This was because the man increasingly smiled at him, called him by endearing names, and touched him unintentionally. Eventually, having ceased recalling past events, Assistant Kim finished his work and went to meet the person from his past in person. Before entering the venue, he brooded angrily over whether it was right to agree to meet outside the office. Previously, when the man messaged him, he had indeed inquired solely about work-related matters. However, soon after, the blonde suggested they meet after work. At this moment, the brunette could no longer pretend that Jinhuan was just a colleague from the design department, as he remembered the man he had once loved. Walking down the street, Minjun pondered his past fears and anxieties that arose around his beloved. They had met and parted at the age of twenty, 
but he had long remembered the man. Now, Assistant Kim was no longer the student from the past. He had grown and toughened his character over time. Even meeting the man he loved could no longer make him as nervous as before. Preparing for a serious conversation with Jin Wen, the young man was mentally ready for the meeting, confident that nothing could affect him as profoundly as it once had. Upon arriving at the venue, the protagonist was surprised by the man's warm behavior, as he had already pre-ordered food for the both of them. Further into their conversation, it was revealed that Korean rice wine would be served, which astounded the brunette since he distinctly remembered that Jin Wan could not tolerate national alcoholic beverages due to his body's adverse reactions. Despite this, Min Jun decided to pretend he had forgotten about this peculiarity and thus ignored the mention of what had been specifically ordered. In the past, during the second month of their acquaintance, when the brunette had grown accustomed to attending events with a large number of the man's friends, he decided to introduce his beloved to his best friend. They had a good time and drank Korean alcoholic drinks that day, but the following morning, an anxious acquaintance of the man called. Through this conversation, the protagonist learned that Jin Won was supposed to have an important lecture that day, but had missed it, causing concern. Discussing the matter briefly, the young man discovered Jin Won's intolerance to Korean alcohol. He was shocked by the news, as it made him the inadvertent cause of the man's academic troubles, unable to attend classes due to a severe hangover. Feeling guilty, Min Jun hurried to the residence of his first love to bring him products to help cope with the hangover. Overwhelmed by his own guilt and selfishness, he wept, which greatly surprised the blonde, who seemed pleased to receive such care. Now, the man had deliberately ordered Kim's favorite alcohol and thus kept refilling his glass during dinner. Min Jun felt awkward being alone with someone from his past, as he remembered such details. Nevertheless, he continued to pretend it did not matter to him. Over time, their silence turned into a discussion about work, which the protagonist disliked, and the office management that treated employees harshly. Jin Huan responded understandingly and also inquired about the news that the brunette was planning to switch to a different organization. It seemed strange to Min Jun that his former lover knew this information, but it soon became clear that a mutual acquaintance had told him. During the conversation, the man asked about the reasons behind Min Jun's job choice, but he did not elaborate, preferring to shift the focus from himself to his interlocutor. At that moment, Assistant Kim confessed that he believed office work was not suitable for someone like Jin Wen, as he was a creative individual. Nonetheless, the new employee explained that he was attracted to a project that everyone in the office was currently working on, which is why he wanted to be part of the team. As their detached conversation became more personal, the protagonist asked why the man had abandoned his previous life plans, which included living abroad. He honestly replied that after completing his master's degree in London, he had given up on the idea and returned to his home country. It seemed this news saddened the young man. Listening to the blonde's further explanation about his decision, he could not concentrate on the information as he unconsciously enjoyed the sound of the other's voice and his smile. At that moment, Min Jun accidentally recalled nights from the past when he had talked on the phone with the object of his first love until dawn. As they discussed the rain outside during those memories, surprisingly, rain also began that evening. This remarkable coincidence disconcerted the brunette and, unexpectedly, delighted Jin Wen. Discussing the appropriateness of choices, the brunette tried to convey his opinion on the matter. He insisted that their work was exceedingly mundane and that the senior colleagues were particularly irritating. The man found this amusing, remembering the reasons why the young man felt this way. Jin Won admitted that he agreed with the senior staff's opinion that the protagonist was charming. Min Jin chuckled at this revelation and afterward pondered the notion that many people view a youthful appearance as something positive because it implies one does not age visibly. Observing Jin Wen's attractive face, Assistant Kim reflected on all his romantic relationships with others that had occurred post-university. He realized that while many men had interested and attracted him, he had never loved anyone as intensely as he did the object of his first affection. 
Although he had often consumed alcohol with his former partners, his sensations this time were distinct. Unexpectedly, the conversation was interrupted by the blonde statement that he had deliberately chosen a venue reminiscent of the type the protagonist had disliked in the past. He remembered that Minjun disliked noisy and unkempt places. The brunette shared that he still favored such tastes but couldn't always afford to indulge them. Thus he had learned to adapt to less favored conditions. Upon learning that the protagonist now had to eat even the foods he disliked, Jin Huan subtly complimented him for his efforts. Hearing these kind words, Min Jun reacted vividly, as if momentarily transported back to his university days. After they finished dinner, Assistant Kim offered to pay for the meal, but the new colleague declined, feeling it was his duty to settle the bill. Before parting ways, the brunette inquired about where the man had parked his car. He learned that Jin Wen was so confident their meeting would occur that he had parked his car far away and now needed to call a taxi. This assurance struck the young man, but he tried to overlook it, thus quickly bidding farewell and heading home. This abrupt change in emotions and actions from Min Jun shocked the man, but he did not attempt to stop him. On his way home, the brunette contemplated his dislike for summer due to the excessively hot weather, as he had to wear an office suit in which his body sweated profusely. Since his university days, Assistant Kim had disliked and feared sweating, especially during moments when he was near someone he loved. Once, while visiting him, he learned that the other was sensitive to smells. Then, Jin Wen confessed that he appreciated the pleasant scent that emanated from the brunette. This news pleased Min Jun as he had made considerable efforts to achieve it. Now, Assistant Kim reflected on the dinner incident. He was saddened by his strong reaction to the praise from his former lover. Unexpectedly, the blonde managed to catch up with the protagonist on his way home and stopped him. He did so to ask for the young man's phone number, clearly intending to continue their communication. Noticing Min Jun's surprised look, the new office colleague explained that he simply wanted to get along and become a good workmate. Reluctantly, but ultimately, Assistant Kim believed him. When he saw Jin Wan's number, he realized that the man had not changed since their first acquaintance. One evening, while reminiscing about the object of his first affection, the protagonist unexpectedly began to satisfy his own physical needs. In that moment, he realized that his romantic feelings were intensifying, regardless of their current interactions. The next day, the two young men studied in the man's car. Frustrated by his struggles with the material, the blonde banged his head against the laptop, explaining that if he didn't perform well on the upcoming exams, his family would cut off his bank card, essentially leaving him without means to buy food. At that time, a football championship was being held in the country, and the protagonist sincerely hoped to enjoy watching it. However, due to the exams, this was not possible. Reflecting on this and seeing his beloved's despair, the young man suggested they go to a cafe to study together, considering the discomfort the blonde felt in the car. Min Jun's reasoning amused the man, though it seemed logical. He confessed that they shouldn't lock themselves in the car and cause it to shake, as people on the street might suspect untoward behavior. Initially, the protagonist did not grasp what Jin Wen meant, but upon understanding he was greatly embarrassed. As their conversation continued, the brunette playfully scolded his companion, prompting even more laughter. Overall, Min Jun realized that harsh or rude emotions were uncharacteristic of him, but when he reacted quietly and timidly, it created an uncomfortable atmosphere for the blonde. Consequently, throughout their time together, he had learned to adapt to the blonde, ensuring that he felt relaxed and comfortable. Soon, Jin Hun admitted that they couldn't go to their usual cafe for studying because an acquaintance who had recently confessed his love for him might be waiting there. This news troubled the young man, but the man's reaction distressed him even more as he confessed he hated when people fell in love with him. At that moment, the protagonist realized he could never reveal his feelings, as doing so might permanently end their close interactions. Noticing the young man's sadness, the blonde asked him to look at the nearby river. The sunset reflected on the water, and Jin Huan found the scene beautiful. Although Min Jun looked in that direction, he could not grasp what the man meant. 
they were too different, as were their worldviews. When this became clear, the protagonist saw the object of his affection in a new light, realizing that to him, the man was far more beautiful than any landscape. However, their fundamental differences also caused him concern, prompting him to ask if Jin Won found him boring. Surprised by the question, the man responded honestly. If he weren't interested in Min Jun, he wouldn't have engaged with him at all. Moreover, the blonde explained that while their worldviews differed, they were both unique, which made them intriguing and worth getting to know better. As the object of Min Jun's first affection sincerely tried to comfort him, the young man suddenly realized that he might have a chance at reciprocal love. It was at that moment that the man spontaneously shared the character traits he admired in the brunette and kissed him. Reflecting on that period with some sadness, the protagonist doubted the need to keep the man from his past's number. Over the weekend, Assistant Kim was perplexed by his former lover's intimate gesture and tried to decide how to proceed. Ultimately, the young man was resolute in his feelings towards Jin Wen, remembering how unforgivably he had acted in the past. On the night after their first intimate contact, the brunette inadvertently overheard a conversation about what had happened between them. In it, the man not only shared all the details of their intimate encounter with someone, but also made it clear that he had never been sincere in his feelings. Returning home from work, Min Jun was unexpectedly stopped by the new colleague, who drove up in his car and offered him a ride with a smile. The actions of the man from the past were not to the protagonist's liking, as his audacity greatly angered him.